welcome and thank you so much for joining us today, August 1st, 2021, to celebrate Emancipation Day. And we have a lot to celebrate. We would also like to acknowledge and give our respect to the Indigenous peoples of Turtle Island. Since time immemorable, Indigenous peoples have developed relationships and trade with European settlers. They have also, for centuries, have developed collaborative relationships with people of African descent from the motherland, where struggles were shared and successes were celebrated. So on this beautiful, amazing day, we would like to give a very heartfelt megwitch for your friendship, for your wisdom, and for sharing this beautiful land. Welcome to Uplift Black's first annual ultimate barbecue party in your own backyard. We are thrilled to have you tune in virtually as we celebrate coming together apart. Tonight, get ready to be entertained as we have an evening filled with visual storytelling, dance activities, live draws, and more. Tonight is an incredible opportunity to dance under the stars during the after party to featured music and entertainers from all over Simcoe County. Stay connected with us through the open chat at the end of our programming. Enjoy. Welcome to the very first annual fundraiser, barbecue themed, Emancipation Day celebration event in support of Uplift Black. Thank you so much for taking the time to show up today and to support this incredible event. My name is Shelley Skinner. I am the president and founder of Uplift Black. Throughout this evening, you are going to be entertained. We've got seven different performers and artists from all over Simcoe County and beyond who have come together to entertain you tonight for this event. You will see messages from different community members and uplifters speaking about what Emancipation Day means to them and giving you a little bit of information about why they chose to support and volunteer with Uplift Black. We hope that it will inspire you to do the same. We cannot achieve our ultimate goal of achieving racial equity through a conscious and uplifted community without you. That's our community members, our allies, and other Black community members who are here to make change, sustainable change within our community. Tonight, we want to thank our sponsors, Ombridge and Michelle Martin, as well as MTAV, Multitech Audiovisual, for all their hard work on helping create this event. I want to say a special shout out to our art director, Gwen Beaver, who has worked really hard to make sure that the show was a success for everyone. 
I'm going to just allow you to just enjoy this event now. Stop talking. Go ahead. I'm hoping you're, you've are you gathered with your friends and family for this ultimate celebration. And yes, we will see you again next year. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Gwen Beaver. I'm the arts director for Uplift Black. And this is my husband, Sean Pitt. And we are so very happy to be here with you for our very first barbecue fundraiser. Uh, be sure to join the uh, open chat. We want to hear from you. So Sean and I are going to do a few numbers. Some of them you'll be familiar with, but a few you won't. Um, we're going to start with, uh, well, the first two are actually written by a uh, Haitian-American um, singer-songwriter, Layla McCullough. Uh, the first one is Me and My Baby. The next one is Layla McCullough and Allison Russell, and it's called La Vie Difficile. And don't worry, it's in, it's in Haitian Creole, but the English soon follows. <laughs> I don't have much, but I want to give you the 
world This life can be hard, this life can be cruel I don't have much, but I want to give you my heart Nothing in this world, nothing in this world Gonna keep us apart Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping, don't you know, my darling? And the cotton is high. One of these mornings come, you're gonna rise up singing. So hush, pretty little baby, whoa, don't you cry. There is a house in New Orleans They call the rising sun And it's been the ruin of many a poor boy And Lord, I know who I want Sun. 
rising sun Next song we're going to play is uh, an oldie but a goodie that, uh, well, probably a lot of people will know. Uh, and we like singing it. We do. There's a lot of these kind of people in our family. I know. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. At least two of you. <laughs> Days when the rain came Down in the hollow Playing a new game Laughing and running, hey yeah Skipping and a jumping In the misty morning fog Oh, my hearts were jumping in you My brown eyed girl Brown-eyed girl Whatever happened Tuesday is so slow Going down the old man with a Transistor radio Standing in the sunlight laughing Hiding behind a rainbow's wall Slipping in a sliding all alone, the waterfall in you, my brown eyed girl. You're my brown eyed girl. Do you remember when we used to sing? Sha la 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 -di -da. So hard to find my way Now that I'm all on my own I saw you just the other day my, you have grown Cast some memories back in their lawn Sometime a woman come thinking about Making love in the green grass Behind stadium and you My brown-eyed girl You're my brown-eyed girl when we used to sing sha la 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 This is a song I came across a number of years ago while studying Caribbean music, and I've been wanting to do it for, uh, for a long time. It's about one of my favorite fruit. <laughs> Me no drink coffee tea, Mungo time. Care how nice it may be, Mungo time. At the height of the Mungo crop, when the fruit them ripe and drop, what you find on them down, Mungo time. Make we go, Mungo walk, Mungo time. For it's only the talk, Mungo time. Make we jump on the big dry cast 
Right and wrong and a tap of pass Make the best of the club Mongo time Turpin time, large and fine Mongo time Robin Mongo so sweet Mongo time Number 11 and hairy skin Pack the bongra and wrap them in For the bongra must flow Mongo time Me no drink Fruit them a ripe and drop, wash your pot, turn them down, rumbo time. Wash your pot, turn them down, mongo time. Hi, I'm Gwen Bieber, Arts Director for Uplift Black, and I've been asked to respond to the question, why Uplift? I joined Uplift Black because personally I feel that as a member of an underrepresented group it's my duty to work to educate and to enlighten, uh, to open the minds uh, of individuals uh, in, in society. Uh, also to be a voice for those who have been silenced, to be seen, to, to contribute and uh, work towards bridging the gap between our various communities and I found that Uplift Black is working to achieve those very same goals and so that's why I join Uplift Black and I encourage anyone to become a member. Why Uplift? Because I value a community that values inclusivity because I want to know that there is an organization dedicated to advocating and amplifying BIPOC voices um, because having a grassroots community resource is an excellent an excellent thing to have. Um, it's nice to be a part of a community, um, something that's a little bit bigger than just yourself. Um, I like the fact that everybody is very friendly uh, that there are community events organized um, that I'm learning so much about more uh, cultures than I am familiar with of my own origins. Um, I like the knowledge that's being shared very much, the art, the amplifying of the creative parts of all of us. To have a healthy community, we need to support everybody in it. Hi, my name is Ruth. I am a pianist and a saxophonist. I'm from Burlington, Ontario, and I'm here to play a few of my original compositions and a few other well-known pieces.
for Cilla Dickinson and I volunteer for Uplift Black because I believe in racial equity. What I believe is necessary is anti-black racism in education and in businesses and organizations. And through this work we do at Uplift Black, it will help black communities in Simcoe County be recognized where their voices are heard and they can feel safe. And not only black voices, but any voice that is marginalized, any voice that is oppressed, any group that does not feel safe will be heard at Uplift Black. And because of that, I am proud to be an Uplift Black member. Hi, my name is Ruth. I am a pianist and saxophonist in Ontario, Canada, and I am so thrilled and excited to be working with Uplift Black Organization and their annual fundraising barbecue. Emancipation Day to me means that we are honoring the past. We are reflecting on our present as well as being hopeful and prepared for our future. In Ontario, Canada has now actually passed legislation for Emancipation Day to be federally recognized on August 1st, 2021, which is incredible. Emancipation Day also marks the tragedy of enslavement and also recognizes the challenges those who had to fight injustice and essentially continue to face. Our ancestors have sacrificed a lot for us to be in this country and I'm so grateful that we now have a day that will honor that. Thank you for Uplift Black Organization for having me and I can't wait to see the show. Bye.
is Roxanne, a graduation coach for black students. And as you know, I, I do a lot of other things in the community. But today I just want to give a special shout out to Uplift Black for the amazing work that they've been doing in our community. You know, one of my favorite memories uh, was Mother's Day when I was um, greeted by a, a beautiful smile by Shelly as she dropped off a Mother's Day gift to me. I was still in my pajamas. So, you know, like I found that was so amazing to know that we have somebody out there who is thinking about us, who cares for us. Um, Uplift Black has been doing so many programs from yoga to different dances, mental health programs, um, from delivering fresh food baskets right to my door. There's so many things that, you know, they're really doing supporting the community, helping um, black businesses to grow and just plain advocacy. We want to give a special, special shout out to Uplift Black right now to say, Continue to do the amazing work you're doing, and I can't wait for your barbecue that you're having on August 1. Shelly, continue amazing work. Uplift Black, thank you for uplifting the black community. We appreciate you. We love you and your team for everything that you guys are doing. Have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous barbecue, guys, and enjoy the rest of the day. I volunteer with Uplift Black because this is a community organization trying to confront a very real problem. Racism in our society is a given. Sometimes it is hidden, sometimes it's very obvious, yet it exists and we need to be aware of that. And as a white human being, I need to unlearn what I've been taught and really challenge the systems in this country that privilege whiteness, privilege people on the basis of skin color, that I am a firm believer in equity and justice for all people, regardless of their social identities. I believe that everyone deserves equal opportunity, and currently that's not the case. Um, we see evidence of that across our country. Uplift Black is doing fantastic community work that addresses holistic human needs, um, and you know is there for people when they struggle, when they want to uh, learn and grow, when they want to receive support. Um, Uplift Black shows up, and if I can be some small part of that, and I can listen and learn from amazing Black and Indigenous leaders in this organization, that I want to do that. I'm here for it. So I strongly encourage folks to get involved in you know, advocacy with the group. You don't have to be Black to join. Please show up and support. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lily Maharaj, and I am so pleased to be performing with Uplift Black's Barbecue Fundraiser today. It is my debut vocal artist performance. I'm about to perform a song named Strawberry Buttercup. It is an original that I wrote myself and produced along with my good friend, Tammy. So thank you for that. And my lovely dancer that will be joining me this evening is Micah Robertson. We've danced together for years, and I can't thank her enough for holding me down today. So let's get it.
Hello everyone, Lily again. This time I will be performing a rendition of Kehlani's Honey. Thank you very much, let's go. in that community to help my community get sensitized and to amplify the voices of black people. The second pillar of uplift is services. There would have been somebody in that community to, to provide services, which is essential for our survival. And three, there would have been somebody to bring together black artists and support them and to acknowledge that we exist and to acknowledge that we need each other and are there for each other which is also what uplift does so i am sending out good vibes for their barbecue fundraiser because we need to uplift each other hello everybody it's michelle guy i'm back with my beloved partner brad hilliker uh here again to celebrate the Uplift Black Barbecue Fundraiser uh, here August 1st, Emancipation Day. Um, Brad and I are gonna be playing some originals and we're gonna be playing a couple of covers for you. And sit back, enjoy barbecue. Um, quick shout out to Shelly Skinner and Gwen Beaver. Lots of work behind this. I know there's a lot of other people, but um, everybody enjoy yourselves and thanks to them. Oh 
400 years strong. Mothers cry, their fathers try, their children die. We're gonna rise up. We're gonna rise up. We're gonna rise up. Thank you. Again, that one's called A New Day. That was our first original song. We're going to do another original song for you. Um, Brad arranged, helped me arranged, I wrote. And uh, it is called, um, well, it's, I'm going to tell you what it's after. So I'd like you guys to go out there and um, find a documentary, and it's called Speakers for the Dead. And this song was fashioned after that song. And it's called Freedom Road.
strange history The gravestones are gone But their souls may freedom roll The gravestones are gone, gone, gone But their souls may freedom roll to be free. All right, traditional, traditional gospel, people get ready. Hopefully this appeals to someone out there. A train coming Don't need no baggage You just get on board All you need is faith To hear the diesels humming You don't need no ticket You just thank the Lord Yes, you do Yes, you do Get ready for that train to Jordan Picking up passengers from coast to coast Faith is the key, open the doors and put them There's hope for all of the loved and the lost job, Brad. We have uh, a couple more left in the mix for you. Where are we going now? Ah, little Al Green. Let's go back. We'll do a little Al Green. So uh, this one's Take Me to the River. Um, I don't think there's been a remix of this yet for the young'uns, so you might not know what it is. You might have to refer to somebody 40 and over. 
Um, get on your Google. This is a cool song. Al Green is a fantastic artist. You should know who he is. And this is our rendition of Take Me to the River. Don't know why love you like I do After all the changes you've been putting me through You took my money and my cigarette No, I ain't seen the worst of it Yeah, I wanna know Oh, won't you tell me, baby off with some Brad Hilliker and Michelle Guy. Uh, this one is called How's That Working Out? Um, music by Brad Hilliker. Lyrics by Michelle Guy. It's a joint effort. Uh, it's nice being around somebody all the time that you can write music with. Uh, we have that luck and that joy. So, um, and we, every once in a while, we think we get gems. And we hope you've enjoyed uh, our performance today and uh, enjoy the rest of the performers. How's that working out? There's a perfect 
perfect picture window And it used to look like you Now you've found your favorite poison And you're living in a cube I wanna know Is that you thinking about tomorrow? Another day up on that treadmill Practicing those lines You want that needle in that haystack And it's messing with your mind I want to know Is that you thinking about tomorrow? I want to know How's that working out today? Now you're running up that mountain Frozen to the bone Looking for your memory Trying to find that gold Now you're running up that mountain Frozen to the bone Looking for your memory Trying to find your soul Just a crime Time to lock away that freedom It's time to take a ride I wanna know Is that you thinking about tomorrow? Now there's no toys in the playground And there's no one left to play Building castles in the sand and what I yet can be. 
and I can do all of that with freedom. I'd like to ask you to keep Emancipation Day on your mind, not just today, but throughout the year. Reach out to education, learn whatever you can about Emancipation Day and share it with everyone you know. But for now, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Again, my name is Michelle Guy. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Downey and I am the IT coordinator and the secretary of the board at Uplift Black. So my reason for why Uplift is that I decided that there was no more excuses for me uh, to be complacent and just sharing Instagram posts or Facebook um, stories about racial equity, about emancipation, about um, justice for black people and I needed to do something, take some action. And so uh, my way of doing this is to come and be a volunteer, um, do whatever I can for this amazing organization that means a lot to me. I believe that we are not free until everyone is free. And uh, Uplift has been an amazing organization working so hard with so many dedicated, wonderful volunteers um, with Shelly Skinner, who is the absolute best and is literally fighting every single day uh, for uh, better opportunities, better representation and safety for the black members of our community. So I'm so happy to be here. I love this organization and I can't wait to see the great things that will happen with Uplift. Black and brown queer and trans women have been at the forefront of the queer and trans liberation movement since the beginning. In my own life, these women have helped shape me into the person that I am today. I am, with some minor fear, able to live authentically as myself out loud um, in a place that I've never been able to live authentically before, uh, mostly because of the hard and tiresome work of black and brown queer and trans women. However, as much as I am able to live out loud and live authentically, I know that not everyone can do the same. Uh, black and brown, for my black and brown trans siblings, especially in this community where the white is the majority, um, it's harder to live authentically and out loud uh, because of the hate and the violence that is happening in our communities. Um, I owe a lot to black and brown trans women, and so that's why I work with Uplift Black. It's important for me to give back to this beautiful community that has fought for so much for me and allows me to live authentically in my, in my own skin and be who I am. It's just you, it's just me. I lost you in dreams, now I'm falling. Please don't catch, let me break into pieces of hate still i'm soaring kind of sad but you remind me you remind me of a love that i once knew kind of sad but you remind me you remind me of a love who Where'd you go? Where'd you go? On your rocket ship, TK, don't slip to a new realm. I'll wait for you by the hotel. Please pay my bills before you lose your head over heels. I don't care about this dog and you know I can't afford it. I don't want to get bigger. Gravity will hold me down like a sticker, yeah. I'll release, I'll release you. I don't need, 
I don't need If I lose you, I lose you You can kill me the voodoo Like D'Angelo said How does it, how does it feel? He knew how it, how it would feel When he released me into director for Uplift Black. Um, just wanted to send you a message, uh, a little bit of, I think, why we all do this. Um, Uplift Black is a very important organization and there's a several reasons that, that, uh, that I got involved. Um, the first reason were our visions, goals, the visions and goals, um, and certainly our pillars, our three pillars, are, are very important to me. Um, so education, um, educating our young on the history of, uh, of black people in Canada and uh, around the world um, is, is extremely important. Um, I think the truth is something that really needs to get out there. Um, and so that's number one, I think that's the most important thing for me. Uh, the support services that we offer to the local community in Barrie and Simcoe County, again, super important. And, uh, and, and the programs that we have in place for uh, uh, black businesses and black entrepreneurs. Um, again, super important and uh, something that I think is valuable to the community. Uh, and the final reason I think, um, and probably the most important reason is um, when I met Shelly Skinner, our president, um, it was clear to me that, you know, our goals and visions aligned perfectly. And, and I love her for that, and, and I think she's done a wonderful job um, creating this organization along with all of the other people involved. Um, uh, Sarah, uh, yeah, um, Jillian, uh, everyone um, does such a great job, and, and, and anything that I can do to help um, increase the knowledge um, of this organization I'm going to do uh, and we do of course hope to become a national organization uh, in the very near future so we really need uh, the help of our membership um, with dollars and uh, with volunteer work and any support you can offer and we're, we're very grateful to get it thanks for listening to me and I'll talk to you soon bye-bye Live Black is a wonderful organization that is doing truly valuable work in our community when a community does anti-racism work, everybody benefits. This helps everyone. And the work that Uplift Black provides through their education, their programming, their support, how they are a community for our community. All of this, these are things that we cannot undervalue and they need our support. And I can only hope that you will choose to support them today.
When someone is down, what should you do? When someone is down, what should you do? Uplift them. Down as in physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. When someone is down, it is your job to uplift. It is my job to uplift. It is everyone's job to uplift. Uplift the new person at your job that is struggling to fit in. Uplift the friend whose glass is always full when she's drinking. Uplift the aunt that stays living with the man that loves hitting. Uplift all that are in need of healing. You'll never know what someone else is going through until you decide to ask and then to listen. As a black community, we need to make this our mission to help change the lives of our brothers and sisters, our women. We must stand tall together. No matter how much society tries to beat us down, we need to work together and fix each other's crown. White cannot shed light if there is no darkness, yet we still get attacked even when appearing harmless. We must protect each other and make this our mission. Listen to my words. I know you see my vision. Now a mother, I have even more ambition to change this world to have better conditions for my daughter to live in. Let her go to any store without creating suspicion. May she apply to any job she's qualified for and get the position. May she get many scholarships to pay for her tuition. I wrote bearing fruit, the beginning of my daughter's fruition. I speak with passion because these are facts that as blacks been held back since the tracks, though there's nothing that we lack, often treated like we're whack, just because we are black. When someone is down, what should you do? Uplift them, down as in physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. When someone is down, it is your job to uplift. It is my job to uplift. It is everyone's job to uplift. All it takes is one of us, just one, to uplift and shed light, then we can all experience the light. But all we gotta do is choose to uplift. I'm Gwen Weaver, and for me, Emancipation Day is the celebration of the legislative documentation of the freeing of a people, and also of the remembrance of what was and what we continue to strive for. Find a space for you. We can't yes. do this without 
your support. We love you. Allies, you are welcome to join us. Oh, you cannot do it without come. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, baby. Come, come true, come true. <laughs> we're All celebrating right, today, but we're back to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> very true, very true. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for showing up. Love you. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.